Hey Shuby Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, this video is going to be part three of my book, The Ginger Ninja, is the book called The Dance of the Apple Dumplings. If you want to read along, try your library or you'll find links down below to Amazon and also my website where you can get signed copies with a free poster. But let's not talk about it. Let's hear the story. Book three, The Dance of the Apple Dumplings. Chapter 1. The playground at Felix Street School is a happy place to play and probably the happiest kitten in the playground is Ginger. Whee! The other kittens call him the Ginger Ninja because he is also the bravest kitten in the school. If a ball goes on the school roof, they know that Ginger can get it. Here Hilda. Thank you Ginger. You're so brave. If there's a tricky poor ball shot to be taken, they know that Ginger can do it. If there is a mouse to be caught, they know that Ginger can catch it. And at break time, some kittens try to swap their snacks with Ginger. I'll swap you a crab stick for a fishy bit. Your mum makes the best fishy bits in the world. OK. Ginger is in Miss Tiffany's class. She is so kind and helpful. She always finds the time to help with reading. Will I ever catch those mice? Well read, Hilda. She's reading Cat in a Flat, which is another one of my books. And she helps with sums. Oh, come on, Ginger. If you have five fish and someone took one away, how many would you have left? Um, she helps with problems like... Ah, ah, ah. There, there. It's only a little scratch. Almost everyone loves Miss Tiffany, so her class were upset when she told them that she was going to have to leave them for some time. But for a while now, I, I've not been feeling well. The doctor wants me to go into hospital for some tests. I, I may not be able to come back and teach you again. Oh, Miss, we'll miss you. Ginger organised a collection to buy Miss Tiffany a present. Come on, stamp up. It's all I've got. I was going to buy some sweets, but as it's for Miss Tiffany... Everyone gave what they could. Everyone except Tiddles. Mm, there's no point asking him, Ginger. Yeah. Chapter 2 Tiddles was a big, stripy kitten. He'd been the school bully until Ginger had put him in his place. With his granddad's help, Ginger had become the Ginger Ninja and had found the power to face Tiddles and his gang. Brr, plot, scheme, mutter, mutter, mutter. Now, without a gang to make him look tough, Tiddles just sucked. He didn't play poor ball. Purr. He didn't join in singing. Urgh. And he didn't pay attention in class. He ate on his own. He sat on his own in the playground. He went home on his own. He was like the ghost of Felix Street School. And Ginger knew that Miss Tiffany liked gardening, so with his granddad's help, he bought a big book about flowers for her present. And all the kittens signed it except for Tiddles. Brr, stupid. All the kittens made cards for Miss Tiffany. Get well, please get well. Get well soon. Best wishes, Miss Tiffany, get well. Except for Tiddles. Brr, pathetic. They gave Miss Tiffany her presents on her last day at school. She came over all tearful and hugged her kittens and, and then the kittens started crying as well and hugged Miss Tiffany, all except Tiddles. They always sob, 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 well, thank you, says Miss Tiffany. She's thinking, poor Tiddles, he really needs a friend. Tiddles is going, yeah, don't care. Chapter 3 on Monday morning, during assembly, they were introduced to their new teacher. Now, school, this is Mr Folds. He will be standing in for Miss Tiffany while she is away. Oh, he looks keen. I hope he's all right. Wow, weird ears. Mr 
fault was like no other teacher Ginger and his classmates had ever come across. He was so enthusiastic. By the end of his first day, Mr Folds got the kittens doing projects. Now, th think of your favourite subject, uh, find out all you can about it, and then make models and books with lots of drawings in them. And pretty soon the whole class was busy writing and making and sticking and drawing. I'm doing kings and queens, and I'm doing space, I'm doing science, I'm doing pirates, and yeah, I'm gonna be sick. By the end of his first week, Mr Foles had started up clubs with proper badges and membership cards. That was the chess club, check. And the climbing club, that's good for cats. <laughs> the reading club, ah, horror stories. <laughs> and the juggling club, ow, dunk. The fish club, look, I'm in all of them. Yeah, pathetic. One morning, he announced that they were going to put on a show and that everybody was going to have a part to play. There will be jobs for everyone. We need all your skills and talents. I can paint the scenery. I can do sound effects. I'm good at carpentry and I'm good at sewing. They started doing workshops in the hall. Oh, come on, we need to free ourselves. You mustn't feel shy about acting. Now, to loosen up, let's all go crazy. Woo, 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 shout, 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 wee. Now, let's all pretend to be little acorns hiding under a blanket of snow in winter. And now it's spring, it's time to start growing. And now we are fully grown oak trees. Come on, shake those leaves. And now let's all be grass swaying gently in a warm summer breeze. Swish, swash, swish, swash. And some of the kittens were good at being oak trees and rustling grass. Some were not. Oh, come on, Muncher, climb on board our bus. It's great fun. I'm not sure. Ginger and Tiddles thought the whole thing was for girls. You won't catch me being an oak tree. Bleah, swishing grass. Pathetic. Ginger and Tiddles leaned against the wall at the back of the hall and pretended that they weren't really there. But they never spoke to each other. And they didn't even look at each other. Chapter 4 Mr Folds called everyone together and told them which part he had decided they should have in the show. Now, and in the second half, we will do a little play which will end with Ginger and Tiddles dancing. Dancing? What sort of dancing? It's the dance of the apple dumplings. Apple dumplings? Ginger could not believe it. He was the ginger ninja. He wasn't going to be seen dead as an apple dumpling. Oh, please, Mr. Folds, I'll do anything else. I mean, I mean, absolutely anything. No, I'm sorry, Ginger. My, my mind is made up. There's a lot to be learned by doing things we don't want to do. This is a team building exercise. Tiddles could not believe it either. It was bad enough that he wasn't the school bully anymore, but now people would laugh at him too. Ginger and Tiddles didn't turn up for the first rehearsal, nor the second, nor the third. Hiding in the gym store, the head teacher asked to see them after assembly. I'm sorry, boys. Mr Folds is an excellent teacher. We are very lucky to have him. The show must go on, and you have your parts to play. While the head spoke to them, Ginger and Tiddles stood well apart and glowered at each other. There was no way out. Perhaps Grandad could help. Ginger went round to see him and explained the problem. I, I just don't know what to do, Grandad. Grandad sighed deeply. 
Hmm. Tricky. Whichever way you look at it, you're not going to sort this out on your own. I think it's time that you and Tiddles started talking to each other. Ginger thought long and hard. He didn't like the idea, but maybe Grandad was right. Ginger asked his mum if Tiddles could come round for tea. She looked in her diary. Well, tomorrow is OK, but I'll have to leave for a meeting at quarter to five. But Grandad can come round. Can you make some fishy bits, especially? I suppose so, just this once. Oh, thanks, Mum. So the next day, Ginger's heart thumped as he went to look for Tiddles. He looked everywhere. Behind the bike shed? No, and the climbing frame over the wall. Up the tree? Oh, at last he found him sulking in a tree. Sulk, mutter, moan. I, I think we need to talk about this apple dumpling thing, Ginger calls up. Go away. My, my mum says you can come round for tea after school. I'll oh, buzz off. She's making some fishy bigs. Fishy bigs? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I'll think about it. Chapter five. Well, after school, Ginger rushed home. Mum had done him proud. The kitchen table groaned with goodies and in the middle of the feast was a huge plate full of fishy bigs. Oh, thanks, Mum. You're brilliant. Ginger looked out of the window and waited. Oh, come on, Tiddles. There was no sign of Tiddles. At a quarter to five, Mum had to leave for a meeting. Grandad arrived to look after him. Oh, I'm sorry your friend didn't come, Ginger. I hope you're not upset. Bye-bye. Be good. Ginger looked at the table full of food. And then he turned to Grandad and sighed. Well, you can't say I didn't try. The long silence that followed was broken by a loud knock at the door. It was Tiddles. I, um... Uh, I haven't missed the fishy bits, have I? Of course not. Come in. Ginger introduced Tiddles to Grandad. So you're the famous Tiddles, are you? Uh, yes, sir. Grandad helped Ginger and Tiddles demolish the wonderful tea. Mmm! Your mum's fishy bits are better than I remember. Mmm! And then the two kittens watched some TV. And they played with Ginger's toys. You got some great toys, Ginger. By the time they were zapping each other on Ginger's computer, they'd forgotten that they'd ever been enemies. Woohoo! Watch out! Ah, they got me! You two look like old friends now. Do we? I've, I've, I've never really had a friend before. Well... You have now. I've been thinking about your apple dumpling problem and I bet that Miss Tiffany could help. I hear she's had her operation. I'm sure she'd love to see you. It can get very lonely in hospital. That's an idea. What do you say, Tittles? Mm, I suppose so. Mum came back just as Tiddles was going home. Uh, this is Tiddles, Mum. Oh, your, your fishy bits are the best, Mrs Biggles. Well, thank you. I'll, I'll get you some to take home. What a charming, well-behaved boy. Mm, yes, Mum. Chapter 6 They were very nervous going into the hospital the next day, but a kind nurse helped them find Miss Tiffany's ward. Ginger's mum had let them pick some flowers from the garden. She, she's just down there. Be, be quiet, though. Miss Tiffany was asleep. The two kittens were surprised how small she looked. They waited a little while before Ginger gently called her name. Miss Tiffany? Miss Tiffany's eyes opened very slowly. They came alive with delight as she recognised her visitors. Hello, boys. Hello, miss. How are you, miss? 
Oh, I'm fine now, thank you, Tiddles. I, I'm very tired from the operation, but they say it went very well. Now, goodness me, what's brought you two together? They told her about Mr Folds and the show and how they didn't want to do the dance and did she think there was any way they could get out of it? It's just not fair, miss. We're big boys now. We shouldn't be doing silly dancing. That, that's right. It's for girls. Now, I know Mr Foles very well and I'm sure he wants you to dance for a very good reason. After all, it's made you friends already and I never thought I'd see that day. Go on, surprise everyone. Show them how good you really are. If a thing's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Well, deep down, they knew that she was right. They just had to grin and bear it. Before they left, Tiddles gave Miss Tiffany a get well card. I, um, I, I made it all by myself. Tiddles, thank you. I think it's the nicest card anyone has ever given me. Mm. Come on, Tiddles. We've got to go. Chapter 7 Ginger and Tiddles made a deal with Mr Folds. If they were going to be in the show, then they wanted to rehearse in private. They did not want the whole school giggling at them. They still had their reputations to think about. OK, boys, it's a deal. So all the time that the scenery was being painted, sploosh, <laughs> and lines were being rehearsed, ah, me, we are but two little kids. Um, Muncher, you're getting your lines mixed up should be ah me what yonder moonlight flits we are but starlight shadow two little kits and while costumes were being fitted uh, hmm that's a bit loose please mrs matthews can i have a crown as well ginger tiddles and mr Foles would sneak off for private rehearsals in the gym keep out rehearsal in progress what are they up to a lot of banging and crashing going on. The rest of the school could only wonder what was going on behind those closed doors. As the day of the show drew nearer, the whole school buzzed with excitement. If a kitten forgot their lines, or the scenery fell over, or costumes were lost, Mr Foles waved his hands in the air and said, Come along, come along, the show must go on. Chapter 8 Backstage, on the night of the show, all the kittens waited nervously for the curtain to go up. Good luck. Oh, thanks. Oh, I've forgotten my lines. Come on, take a deep breath. I need a wee. Ginger and Tiddles peeked through the curtains and sneaked a look at the audience. Look, your mum is sitting next to mine. Tiddles' mum is saying, you must give me your recipe for fishy picks. Oh, says Ginger's mum. Well, first, the choir sang some songs. Meow. And then some kittens recited poems. The kid stood on the burning deck. And Hilda played the cello. <laughs> After the interval, there was a little play in which some kittens pretended to be oak trees. Ginger and Tiddles' mum are talking to each other. Do you know what Ginger and Tiddles will be doing? Not really. The show was to end with the dance of the apple dumplings. Nobody knew what to expect. The music started. Tan ta ra, ta ra, tan ta ra, tan ta ra. Ginger and Tiddles took a deep breath. <gasps> a look passed between them. <laughs> and they burst onto stage to the amazement of the startled audience. Let's go! They danced and cavorted and smiled till their cheeks ached. And they leapt 
and they twirled and they followed the pattern of the music as it weaved itself around them louder and louder still until the final crash of the cymbals <laughs> i can't believe that <laughs> Should be see why, shouldn't it? Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to check some. I'm going to have to check some spellings before the next reprint. So, in the final crash of the symbols, they collapsed, exhausted, to the floor. Crash! There was a moment of silence. Then the audience rose to its feet and deafened the two kittens with thunderous applause. Yay! They were the stars of the show. Weren't they good? They were brilliant, so professional. Oh, that's my boy, and that's my boy. They must have worked very hard to do a dance like that. Absolutely. We did it. Yeah, together. When it was all over, Ginger and Tittles basked in glory backstage. Oh, Ginger, you were brilliant. Well, I, I thought you were really good too, Hilda. Oh, me too. Ginger and Tiddles changed out of their costumes. They wiped off their makeup and joined their parents for a special tea in the hall. Their mums were talking to Mr. Folds and and Miss Tiffany. Hello, boys. Well done. Well done. Oh, Miss Tiffany. Mr. Folds says, I am so proud of you two. You were excellent. You make a great team. You've worked really hard together. Well done done son well done son the head teacher congratulated their parents on having such talented sons and then he cleared his throat and the room went quiet <coughs> i am pleased to announce that miss tiffany is coming back next term hooray and sadly mr folds will be moving on to another school but we want him to know that we'll miss him and tell him what a wonderful job he has done producing the school show. Come along. Hip, hip. Hooray! And here's Ginger and Tiddles both turning the page this time saying, We'll be back. And there is another story. There's three more stories, but not in this particular book. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you want to know more about the Ginger Ninja, click up here because there is a whole playlist of stuff all about the Ginger Ninja. There'll be loads more stories coming on the Shoe Rainer Join channel. But in the meantime, keep reading, 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 watching, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye. <laughs>